Congratulations on taking this step towards making friends with your machine. In this video, you will learn everything there is to know about the Usha Rotary Stitchmaster sewing machine. This Know Your Machine audiovisual guide will take you on your journey in making friends with your machine and ensure you to get the best out of it. Follow the video carefully to understand the function and importance of each part of this machine. You may feel a bit confused initially, but use this video as your guide and you will soon be the master of your machine and get the outcome you want. Knowing your machine is imperative as you embark on Learn to Create as it will really empower you to breathe life into everything you create. So let's get started, shall we? Let me start by teaching you how to remove and insert the bobbin case. Remove the slide plate. Turn the balance wheel towards you to raise the needle to the topmost position. Take out the bobbin case by holding the latch like this. Make sure you lift the latch or you will be fighting with your machine. In the same way, hold up the latch and insert the bobbin case. You will hear a soft click when it's in place. Release the latch then. Now that you know how to remove the bobbin case, take it out and slide out the bobbin from it. Now, place a thread spool on the spool pin as I am doing with the thread coming from back of the spool. Now we come to the bobbin winder spindle where you load the bobbin to fill it with thread. Draw the thread from the spool and guide the thread around the bobbin winder tension bracket. Insert the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle like this. Next, press the bobbin winder latch to hold the bobbin. While holding the balance wheel with your left hand, loosen the stop motion the way I am doing so. This will disconnect the machine from the flywheel and start the machine. When the bobbin is fully wound, it will stop automatically. Remove the filled bobbin and tighten the stop motion like this. Place the bobbin into the bobbin case like this. Now here, make sure the thread unwinds in clockwise direction. Pull the thread into the bobbin case slot. Then draw the thread under the tension spring and into the delivery eye while leaving about 10 cm of free thread. Now that your bobbin case is filled up with bobbin, let's insert it back into the hook ensuring it is firmly fixed and slide back the plate. Wow, that leaves us with just one last step before the machine is ready for stitching. Eager to get started? So let's quickly learn how to thread the machine. Next, raise the presser foot. Take the thread through the arm thread guide upper and while holding the thread, draw the thread down into the thread tension unit like this. Draw the thread through the check spring at this point. Then take the thread through the thread take up lever as you can see me doing. And next, pass the thread through face plate thread guide like this. Next, draw the thread down and slip it into the needle bar thread guide. Now for that final step, insert the thread into the needle eye from left to right. Hold the needle thread in your hand. Move the flywheel towards you till the needle goes down fully and comes out of the needle plate. Pull the thread in your hand to draw the bobbin thread up. This is the needle plate which brings the threads from the needle and bobbin to form the stitches. The feed dog which has a jagged edge helps move the fabric along smoothly as it gets stitched. Just above the needle plate here is the needle clamp screw 
that is used to change the needle as desired. The needle has a groove on one side, which should face left while fixing the needle on the machine. This here is the stitch regulator knob to help you decide how long or short you want the stitches to be. Now comes the thread tension unit. This plays a very important part in defining the final finish of the stitches. The thread tension needs to be just right. If it's loose, you will find extra thread bunched up in every stitch, making it very unsightly. And if it's too tight, then the thread will keep breaking. This brings us to the pressure bar thumb screw. It enables adjusting the pressure exerted by the presser foot on the fabric. This will help you sew on different types of fabrics. With a good finish, for example, use more pressure for denims and less pressure for silk. The machine sews at 1800 stitches per minute. At the end of the fabric, watch the reverse stitch regulator lever changes the direction of the stitching. Mostly used at both the ends when you stitch two pieces of fabric together to make the stitch stronger. The knee lifter here helps raising the presser foot for saving time while stitching. You will need to oil your machine from time to time for smooth functioning. An oil bottle is provided in the accessory box which comes along with your sewing machine. We need to oil in the allotted marked holes as shown. If you use your machine once a week, lubricate once a month or alternatively, if you use your machine continuously, add two drops of oil after eight hours of usage. The machine table comes with an extension unit to provide extra support for bigger projects. Wow, you made it! Congratulations, your machine is now ready to be used. We hope you found this lesson informative and useful. Do keep referring to it if you feel stuck at any point. Once you do this a few times, it will be oh so easy. Happy making friends with your machine. The Usha RSM is a rotary hook machine suitable for a variety of fabrics ranging from light to heavy and is available as a motorized version also.